everyone. Today I'm going to talk about something that might be a little weird. Um, it's talking about how this being on camera really freaks me out. And to talk about this, I need to go back to my childhood. Story time! So I was a super outgoing kid. I was very friendly. I made conversations with like gas station attendants at two years old. I took dance lessons, which you already know. I sang and I really enjoyed being in the spotlight. Surprise! One of the things that I would do with my cousins is we would make these young James Bond movies where I would take my camera from my mom and all of us cousins would get together and we'd dress up. So there's footage somewhere of me as a kid pretending to be James Bond and I don't know where it is. I'm sure my mom has it. But so I was definitely not a stranger to performing. That changed in middle school. In middle school, which I'm convinced is universally the worst for everybody, uh, I started getting acne and I was this scrawny little kid and I lost a lot of the self-confidence that I had as a child. And tied into all that was my sexuality, which I can't escape from. It's made its way into like every single one of my videos, even if it's not directly related, because it's always a little bit related. Basically, puberty hit me and it struck a huge blow to my self-confidence. And after that, I sort of stopped performing. I kind of retreated into my shell. I just turned into this shy little kid who didn't do anything. I stayed home a lot. I read a lot of books. I took a lot of baths. And this went on for several years. In high school, I finally decided that I wanted to do something about this. Basically what happened was I was in a science class one day and I was watching the video announcements and I didn't even know that our high school had video announcements before because it was like a brand new thing. And while I was watching it, I was thinking about how everyone in the school knew who they were. Everyone knew their names. Uh, no one knew who I was. And again, I had always been into video stuff. so. I basically decided then that like, oh, I'm going to be doing video production next year. When it came time to schedule classes for the next year, I dropped band and I picked up video production and my band teacher was furious. He tried very hard to talk me out of dropping band, but I, I wanted to do video. I wanted to be noticed. So I did that instead. The first couple videos that we made for video production, I was like an awkward mess, which is fine. I didn't like watching myself on camera because I was I was observing my own behavior that much more closely, I guess. Over the next couple years, as I started appearing in more videos for video production, I started to get more confident. I started doing the announcements and I got what I wanted. I was being like broadcast to the whole school and people knew who I was and that was great. So I went off to college to do film stuff and there I didn't really have to be on camera that much, but I did force myself to take an acting class my freshman year and it terrified the shit out of me. I showed up to class and I, I like almost threw up every day in the bathroom before I started this class. I was very, very nervous. And then I went and I did the class and everything was fine. That definitely helped me become a little more comfortable with performing. And also around that time, I put on a play back at my old high school and I ended up being in it. And so that really helped too. It's just sort of like a bunch of these small experiences over and over again like forcing me out of my comfort zone, the comfort level slowly grew. But the fear and the anxiety of being on camera was still there to a certain extent and that carried over to when I started working at BuzzFeed. At BuzzFeed, it's not necessary for you to be on camera, but I wanted to be and I, when I started appearing in the first couple videos, I was still very scared and also part of it was that these were new people that I was surrounded by and I was an intern working with these producers who had been working there for a while. It was definitely nerve wracking and a lot of them have had more experience than me. They're several years older. They've done improv comedy. They've done acting classes and I've not done a lot of that. They had a level of self-confidence on camera that I didn't have and I really respected that. Me starting to vlog more too really helped with me being on camera and I think now I'm at a point where I can generally appear and I, I still get nervous. I still have a little bit of that fear and I think a little healthy fear isn't that bad for you anyways. You know, overcoming some of the things that I've felt about myself has definitely been a struggle, as I'm sure it is for everybody, and to some extent it, those things may never go away, but um, I really love doing this. I love talking to you guys, and I love being in videos and, and sharing myself, and I love the attention. Man, we are just really getting into it with these personal stories, aren't we? <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like I said last time, I'm probably gonna continue doing a couple more of these. If you do like them, please share them with your friends. Subscribe, tell everyone else to subscribe. I am out of here. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Why did it get so blue all of a sudden? Are you blue? No, not my face.